Okay, so first of all, congratulations uh, for your first COC points uh, in such a break. Um, how does it feel to be back in the COC? Uh, thank you. First of all, yeah, it's really nice. It was quite a tough way and we're very much good jumpers in Austria at the moment. And I think there are also like three or four which are basically on the same level waiting at home and yeah i'm really happy to be to be back in the cuc and yeah let's see what what the rest of the season brings and did you feel a lot of pressure while debuting in the winter coc again after three years uh no not really it was lots of fun and i i was with them in in summertime sometimes so uh yeah it wasn't such a new thing again it was like i started with them in cuc in summer and it's basically i mean i know them since i think 15 years so we're like a small family and it's every time you come together it's it's really nice i'm asking this because uh, according to my research the last time you were on the podium in a coc competition was at the beginning of 2018 i think in planita so this seems to be some uh, noticeable progress. Um, did you change anything in your jumping that has contributed to your great shape? Uh, yeah, I tried a lot of things, but I think the biggest step forward was when last year uh, I'm training with my dad since some years now, but we started to, to make our own suits. And yeah, it was a game changer and it's... Yeah, I mean, I also made a lot of progress in my jumping, but I think this this was a, a new new thing and also puts away lots of, of pressure. And uh, do your recent performance mean that uh, we will see you in COC competitions more often? Uh, I hope so, yeah. I mean, still the goal is to, to not stay too long in COC and hopefully make it to World Cup some, someday, but... Uh, yeah, at first, I, I, I want to stay in CUC and let's see. I mean, I think it's basically the main thing is to jump good. And yeah, I hope I, I can deliver some more times. And yeah. Um, as we know, uh, the team Austria is uh, really strong right now. Um, and how does breaking through the competition nominations uh, from among so many good Austrian jumpers look from your perspective? Yeah, I think it's the, the most difficult part in, in Austria. Uh, it's like a competition for this nomination is way more difficult than any CUC competition because it's really a lot of pressure and you know, you, or you don't know when the next chance will come. So yeah it's it's a lot of it's a lot of pressure and it, i think the last three years i wasn't good in in these competitions so i couldn't handle this very well but this summer uh i made the fist cup quote and so so we have we we manage it like the one who makes the quote will also he he earns his spot so it's it's yeah i, I made it through this way so this was a little bit different so maybe this was also the reason why i why i made it because yeah um also you were jumping uh in the coc on the olympic hill and uh, how would you evaluate the large hill uh in china the olympic chill can you compare it to the facilities that you know from other competitions uh, <laughs> I don't think so. It's like, it's really huge and it's, it's basically different than everything else we have in, in Europe. It's maybe unique and also the high attitude is like, you, you don't feel a lot of pressure under your skis. And what do you think about the organization of the COC in China? What was good and uh, what uh, should be improved in your opinion? Uh, yeah. You could see that that they really they wanted to do everything perfect, and but you could also see that 
yeah, it was their first time hosting a, a ski jumping competition. So yeah, you you saw they they have luck lack of experience in some areas uh, but I think it was a real benefit for them hosting a CUC because they also saw that they, they still have some things to improve but yeah I think they they did a good job I was actually expecting worse so I think it, everything went fine so they they looked for us and and if we needed something they organized it and also we had <laughs> lots of space and i think it's yeah they, they looked really good after us and do you see any differences between coc and peace cup events um is the difference big or not well it's it's difficult to say basically it's on both levels you have to jump really good because there are many austrians that are i think it's not such a big difference but also maybe it's it's a little bit more calm calm in in cuc because you also see that there are not so many like jumpers that are far away with their uh, performance like there there are only good jumpers in in cuc do you think that something is missing uh, in the performances of COC and Fizz Cup jumpers in uh, comparison to World Cup level? If, if you get your chance in, in World Cup, you need to use it. So it's, it's you really need to, to make your best jumps. And this is the main thing where most of the, the jumper from the classes underneath like fist cup and suzy often lose their um so thank you for the interview and and good luck in your journey thank you very much <laughs>